the next chart here, which is Marathon Digital. Uh, I think it's worth noting because we do have Bitcoin ripping. But before I get into the chart, uh, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the Trading Triangle out there, you guys. The sma smash that like button, like we like to say. And to those that are tuning in on live on X, do appreciate. I mean, all of you across the board tuning in. Shout out. I see we've got some requests coming in from Airwolf. Mr. Console, happy that you're tuned in. Thank you, Mr. Console. Uh, I see Jay and BB3 all out there. So we'll have to circle around to these tickers at Coke, BXS, BKSY. I'm not familiar with that one. SLB, Fresh, and CVX, though, I am familiar with. So let's take a look at some tickers as we get uh, moving. But right now, focusing on MARA, uh, notable, like I said, with Bitcoin rocketing higher, uh, the miners have just been you know, on fire, as you can see from the charts. After selling off there for a bit, um, caught a bid, made a higher low, and then just launched. That's the anchored VWAP line you see mixed in with 50-day moving support and 20-day. Um, so let's see here. This guy here is our anchored VWAP, and then we've got the 50-day and then this 20-day. And I have this advantage, I'm realizing now, guys, of, dry, of driving with this laser. I'll have, to, I'll have to follow your words on your charts, Keg. I'm going to try. I didn't do it at all for Sean. Okay, anyways, <laughs> or not enough for Sean, I should say. So anyways, this break here was huge, right? And this five-day uh, moving average I talked about with the Qs, now I'm watching it closely, right, to see if we get a few closes below it or not. Um, and if we don't and it continues to support, I'm actually really looking at this level here, uh, 2671 is holding up for support. So really between 2650 and 2670. Um, if that level holds, I think we continue to see a move higher here. Um, I, especially with Bitcoin continuing to power higher, obviously. And uh, targeting to get back up, what did we get to? 31.30 was the high most recently. So uh, that's the, the the level we're aiming at here with uh, Marathon Digital. Um, RSI is really strong, right? It's way up there. So uh, it could be a sign of more strength to come. You can see it, it'll hang at these levels for a little while. Um, or it could really just, you know, peter out a little bit and not make that, you know, retest that high, which I think would be a negative. So uh, we'll see how it plays out this week. I would definitely wait to get more information on if the support level holds up. Uh, what do you think, Sean? You like this chart? I do and I don't. I like how, I mean, kind of shaping up for like a, a, almost a double top, I suppose, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, we had a comment, obviously, uh, bearish comments and perhaps uh, people are expecting this one to go down. Um, but uh, I think this one for me, like you said, with Bitcoin, I'd be closely following the Bitcoin price rather than the actual Mara, Mara price. Same, same with all the other miners, CL, CLSK, I think is one of them. Hive, yeah. obviously Riot as well. Um, so it was interesting. I, I, yeah, I've just been following Bitcoin for this one. Uh, that's what I've got really to add to it, to be honest. Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Uh, Kay, what would you add? So interestingly, uh as Sean said that this could be a double top, I'm also looking at the volume shelf, like between 2362 going all the way to 2611, there is heavy buying that comes in at those levels. Yeah. So that's, that is something that, you know, you will probably see a lot of uh, buyers stepping in. Uh, I know um, somebody, the audience in London mentioned that all gaps must be filled. Well, yeah. generally um, that is how we look at it, but not necessarily all gaps do fill. Uh, it is generally an understanding that any gap ups or gap downs should be filled, but you know, they're you know, stocks are stocks, they can do whatever they want. Um, the volatility is above 130 for the foreseeable future, right? We are seeing very high volatility in Mara, and of course, the put to call is 0.63. So, of course, there's a lot more bias on the call side as opposed to put side. I mean, I would still, tra I mean, yeah. I'm still in this trade, uh, Nate, so I'll continue, nice. yeah, yeah. I'm 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 riding this wave until you know we see a clean break in the trend, and um, I still think 2493 on the fib level is still a support with the aligning with the volume shelf as well. Nice. All right, noted. 2493. Yep. Jot that down. And um, yeah, I've also. I mean, I agree with you guys, right? This could be a double top. It could also be a break in retests and power hires. So that's the setup, right? Watch for both. Um, and then I, I like what you're saying. You know, you've got to watch the support here where, where the buyers have stepped in. Because if it slips, then I think real quickly we could be right back at 20, right? Yeah. So um, definitely it's not one for the you know faint of heart. Like this stock moves, you can see the big candles. Um, but I like London's point, right? Gaps do fill uh, more likely than not. We'll look at NVIDIA in a little bit. Those gaps are not filling. 
um, or not anytime soon. They had, they, they're taking a while anyways. Um, but then, uh, yeah, that, it's a strong point. And then uh, quick uh, comment. I know that Trader AZ asked about the uh, horizontal lines here. These are what I've noted is support resistance levels. So where I would expect a little bit of uh, hesitation um, or possible rejections um, or support levels um, for the for the ticker. So I use these. I go back in time, right, and look at different uh, levels that have been supported, and that's why you see them run off the left side of the screen. 